the Tucson Bird and Wildlife Festival is an event that showcases our region's amazing wildlife to residents and visitors. Here to tell us more about this unique event is the executive director of the Tucson Audubon Society, Paul Green. Paul, how are you? I'm great. How are you? We're doing very well, Wonderful. Paul. And, and talk about the festival that you guys have. Tell us about it. Well, it's a great uh, opportunity for people to come and experience our unique wildlife here. Um, people are coming from all over the country and even from Canada. 24 states are coming here uh, next month to enjoy our wildlife. And we hope that uh, people that live locally will uh, come and take part as well. What are some of the unique wildlife that we do have that you can't find in other regions? Well, the birds. You know, of uh, the 900 or so species of birds in the uh, United States, then um, we have about half of them in this area. And maybe 40 species can't be found anywhere else. Wow. So uh, people who want to get those birds on their lists, they, they come here to see mm -hmm. them. They can only come here to see That's them. That's right. And talk about holding the festival. Is that one of the reasons you guys do this, to showcase the unique things that we have here in Tucson? Yeah, well, this is the best time of year. Uh, the monsoon is great because there are more species of birds here because they, they start moving around, migration and all that has, has started. Uh, but also, uh, because these people, when they come, the birders come, they spend money. Mm -hmm. And it's great for our economy. And the hotels are empty in August, so we need to get people into those hotels. And we want to show the local uh, politicians just how important visiting birders are for the economy. And we're looking at some pictures right now. So it looks like there's an expo. And then do you take people in groups to go out and look at specific birds? Or like, how do you really get to see these species? OK. So we have an expo, as you say, with live birds. So that people can come to the expo and see real live owls and birds of prey okay. real up close. So come to the expo for that. And then there are day-to-day -day field trips. So there are uh, tens of field trips out into the region and some locally too, for example, to Sweetwater Wetlands on Sunday. Okay, and do people have to sign up for those early? Is it just kind of you come and you get to go? How does that work? So most of the field trips are actually now full and sold out. Oh, okay. But there are some, there are some spaces and we ask people to go to our website and just see what spaces there are and they can actually uh, see where they can fit in. You talk about these things being sold out and people coming from Canada and 24 other states. What does that say about the Audubon Society, that, that draw? Well, it's huge, I mean, but it's really about the birds. It's not about the Audubon <laughs> Society. Um, you know, those birds are really special and people want to come here and see them. Uh, we put on the festival um, as a way of uh, focusing people's attention on the wildlife. And have you noticed over the years that there's a specific species that a lot of people come to see specifically? Yeah, well, of course, there's uh, perhaps the most famous is the elegant trogon, which we can see in Madeira Canyon and other places. There's nowhere else to see those but in the, uh, the shaded canyons in southeast Arizona. Um, but, you know, the birds that you and I look at in our backyards, like the verdin, for example, or roadrunner, uh, most people don't have those in their yards, mm -hmm. so they come here to see them. When I moved to Tucson, I was shocked. I've never seen a roadrunner before besides the cartoon. Yeah, right. And the roadrunner alive looks nothing like the cartoon. I'm sure there's a lot of people that see a roadrunner for the first time and they're kind of blown away by what they really look like. Yeah, they look like a bit like a prehistoric bird, but of course they do run just like the cartoon. They do run yeah. and they're fast. Yeah. They're so fast. Yeah. And we talk about these birds and it sounds like a festival that you guys are putting on can be enjoyed by people that are experts and then those that are new to bird watching alike. We're especially asking people that have never even watched a bird to come along and just learn from the experts. We have a lot of workshops, free workshops on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, where beginners can actually sit down with experts and just learn uh, what the birds are and how to look at them. Because that's, that's part of the fun, mm -hmm. right, is learning about the, the animals we have here in southern Arizona. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we all have them in our backyard. We may not right. look at them and see them, but uh, we hope that when people come to the festival, They'll learn how to look out for them, and then they'll just go outside and see them for themselves. What is it about birds in general that have such a draw, that people are so fascinated with them? Well, you know, they're the most easily seen parts of our natural world, and it's like a gateway to the natural world and to nature. Mm -hmm. Birds are just there. You can't not see them if you yeah. go outside. And uh, we ask people just to, you know, stop for a moment and look, and uh, then the birds will just enter their lives, I think. Mm -hmm. And aside from a festival like this, how can we get into bird watching? How do, how do you get started into something like this? The best way is to go out with somebody that knows what they're doing. And we run in Tucson more free weekly bird trips than any other chapter in the nation. So 
uh, if you just go to our website, you can sign up for a free bird trip every week. Wow, you have that many? Mm -hmm. that we have hundreds every year. That is wonderful. Well, Paul, thank you so much for joining us today. This was wonderful. Great. Thanks Sounds for like inviting fun, Paul. me. Yeah, thanks. And the Tucson Audubon Society Festival is coming up on August 16th and 17th at 10 a.m. at the River Park Inn. To learn more, just call them at 629-0510 or go online to tucsonautobahn.org slash festival. Again, that's 629-0510 and tucsonautobahn.org slash festival.